What's up everybody, Kyle and Tommy here, ready to give you the untold story of how we got our own cards in the 2023 Topps Allen & Ginter set. We have big poppies and little babies. We have polar bears and we have gorillas. We have the exceptionally tall and the definitely average height. Now Tommy, this was a pretty big milestone moment for us. It was. Uh, we get a lot of exciting things and offers and deals that over the years that have been super cool, but this one in particular was pretty special just given our history of trading cards and uh, just a surreal thing to do when you're featured in a set like that. When you see your own card with the Topps branding on it, just everything about it was uh, like a pinch me moment for sure. Yes, and you guys may notice that this is not our pod studio and you may be wondering where we're at. We're actually back at my childhood home and Colts Field for all you OG fans is right outside here in my front yard. and. We chose to film this video here because this is where our love for collecting cars really began and just trading in this room or in our bedrooms, I mean, it's really nostalgic for us and we think about it a lot, honestly, just that being our number one hobby, it brings back such good memories and we had to pay homage to it here. We did. Uh, growing up when I was probably seven, eight, nine years old, if I ever had to get dragged to the store with my mom to go run errands or get groceries or whatever it may be. It was not a successful trip unless I somehow, some way convinced her to get me a pack of $2 trading cards so I could come here, um, open them up with Kyle and go through them to see if we got any of our favorite players. So just so many good memories, very nostalgic, like Kyle said, and uh, it's just the joy of being a kid, simple right. things like that. And I mentioned it was our favorite hobby, but I kind of want to give the fans some further evidence. So let's bring in the cards. So here is our mountain of cards. We've got everything from NFL, uh, MLB, NHL cards are in here, NBA, as well as Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh! I also dabbled in. Um, you know, I was the type of kid, I was going to card conventions. I was really into it. And um, you know, once again, bringing back great memories here. And I think trading cards, it's not a lost art, but I really hope it keeps its appeal, especially among the youth, like moving forward. Please comment below if you're a card collector. I'd really like to know, but um, I think it just has great history and tradition. Um, and I think it's just a great hobby. Opening, getting new cards and opening cards and sorting them in the binder by team and position and like all that sort of stuff was just, just fun. It's just things to do as a kid when you have so much free time and the world is truly your oyster and it's just a great pastime thing we did. Right, and we bring up all those memories and give you all this background to give you some more context on the excitement we were feeling when me and Tommy received an email on January 11th, 2022. So a man by the name of Doug, uh, who was working with Topps, expressed interest in that they wanted us to be a part of the 2022 Topps, Allen & Ginter set. Uh, we'll get more into why it was pushed back a year in just a second, but the Allen & Ginter set, for those who don't know, is a retro-themed baseball card set with not only current and former MLB players, but also non-baseball playing athletes, influencers, musicians, actors, um, inanimate objects, landmarks. It's a fun and bizarre set that kind of strays away from their flagship sets. And so just me, me and Tommy being wiffle ball players, I guess they thought there was some appeal there. We were taken aback by it. We couldn't believe it. Um, what was your gut reaction? Because for me, like I, I didn't even think this could be a possibility. Like I said, just a pinch me moment. Uh, just probably just a timing thing, right place, right time, and having the right person in a meeting with Top saying, "Hey, what if we, what about these guys?" type thing, and getting approval from one or two people that 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 it made it happen. So the cool thing about the internet and YouTube is you never know who's going to see your content, and it just takes the right person, in the right position, to you know vouch for you on your behalf to get you involved in something cool like this. So it was awesome. And just the thought of a kid opening a pack and being like Shohei, Victor <laughs> Wembanyama. Um, the Grand Canyon and then like TC3, <laughs> like it's so funny to even think about. Like, what is this? Um, we had to keep all this a secret to our, our best friends and we didn't want anything to leak because we wanted it to be a huge surprise when it went out, but getting more into the production process. So, so there was actually some delays there just with supply chain. It was kind of, you know, a little bit after COVID and they were going through some things. So um, we were initially supposed to be in that 2022 set. It got pushed back a year, but um, just going through that process of sending in what pictures we wanted and, and actually some relic items too. I believe I sent in my old Wildcats jersey tee. I don't know if it was ever used. Mm -hmm. um, and you sent in your bandana, I think. Bandana and I think maybe a Mallard's jersey tee. Yeah, I don't know if those relic cards exist or not, 
But again, this was all happening back in like spring of 22. So right. that was, yeah, that was the bandana era, the pitching era. Yeah. My pictures of me pitching. So uh, yeah, it's, that's, that's a funny like behind the scenes tidbit, I guess that it is like an old picture and old relic item, sort of, because it was a year delayed. But yes, May 2023, fast forwarding now, this is the first look we had at our cards. This is when Tops sent 600 each uh, of my card and your card to us at the house. And we had to sign every single one of them for the official set. These are the official autos that you know, can't be duplicated. We don't ever sign them again. Like, this is it. Um, so it was really fun to go through this process. And we actually kind of vlogged all of it, too. So we'll bring you into that day in May 2023. Cards? The cards are here. Cards are here. The cards are here. Oh boy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Filming. This is good. Oh my god. See this look. It's like we got a instructional envelope. It's a paper, bubble wrap, and the cards. Moment of truth, folks. Moment of truth. What's that say? Do not stack or handle. Let dry minimum of 60 seconds. Be sure to sign the front of the card. Thank you. So official. Oh my god. Drum roll. Mama. Mama, I made it. <laughs> I want to see my card. All right, here we go. Oh, the return of bandana time. <laughs> I know. 2017 looking Tom. I'm professional with a wall player. Wow, that's generous. All right, let's see it. There she is. I look pretty cool, actually. There we go, folks. There we go. We're in a top set. So I'm supposed to sign like, what is this, 500 Tom? I think it's 600 and something. All right. It's kind of a fun thing to process. Tom, what do you want to say to any lucky individual out there that may obtain one of these signed Tommy Coughlin cards? Um, it's probably worth like five cents. <laughs> but it means a lot in sentimental value to me, so. This first one though. My first one. Again. How are you gonna know it's the first one? Hey, though? first one, ten cents maybe. How do you know if you got the first one? I should like somehow. I should put like a little secret dot on the back so they know they got the first one. No, do like a smile, not a smiley face, but yeah, do something. Do like. I'll tweet. just do this one really perfectly so you'll know if it looks really good. <laughs> okay. Not bad. Not bad. I just clutched that shot. Tommy's on to the uh, the parallels. How are we feeling here about the parallels? I'm nervous about signing with the silver shirt because this is thicker. These black parallels, these are sick. Okay, so here's what we're given, folks. We're given this little this little mock card uh, layout here of what of what to sign with, how big to sign. Tom's last signature. Number 600. I'm all boxed up. And I'm still going. I don't, even see, I don't even see the light at the end of the tunnel. I'm just like maybe halfway. It's like, uh, I'm not even thinking about letters too at this point. It's just a fluid motion. That's the signature. All right, 1,200 cards have been signed, and now it is time to send it back to Tops. Vlogging and driving. Guess I'm one of those people now. <laughs> but no, I am on my way to FedEx to drop off the cards, send them back to Tops. They're all signed. I got them back there in the boxes. 
but I'm hoping that uh, all goes well and this isn't the last time I'm seeing them. Hopefully that uh, they end up in the right hands and uh, all goes to plan and the next time I'm holding one is uh, when it comes out of a pack. So fingers crossed, we'll see. <laughs> There it is, folks. Seeing these babies for the first time, once again, unreal. <laughs> Seeing what they came up with, the, the artwork and the effects they put on it and the text on the back. Once again, so difficult keeping this a secret for the next four months, but I do now want to fast forward to um, our reaction and what we we're thinking on September 22nd, 2023 for the official release. The legendary Alan and Ginter returns to the hobby for 2023. This year's list of pop culture icons is the best yet. This day was crazy. So not only was the, were the Topps cards coming out this day, but it was our mini MLB series video release. So I was super excited about dropping that. Um, we were contractually obligated to post about the Topps cards on our uh, personal Instagram feeds and Topps reposted us and they're dropping all this promotional video stuff. and. Just so cool to, to go through and to kind of break the ice for the first time to a lot of our friends and family and our you know the public MLW audience. So just a, another crazy day. I remember I like took a Snapchat of the website when it was like Alan and Ginter out now, and I was mm -hmm. like, your boy's got a card in here. No one really got what I meant, and I was like, no, I physically have a card in this box. <laughs> so that was funny. And I think that morning too was when pre-orders were beginning to be delivered to people's houses and. Um, you know, within minutes of that happening, I was receiving DMs of being like, I pulled your card, and I was like, oh my god, like, they just have just put out the promotional material. And even shortly after that, I'm, I'm scrolling on TikTok on those, you know, have you seen those, like, live, like, rips on yeah, TikTok? Yeah, I've seen it. Now those I have. It's yeah. been more prominent in my feed now. Like, all those card shops, they do those rips, and occasionally they'll have Alan and Ginters, and um, I'll be in there, sometimes they'll pull me, and I'll be like, oh my god, that was me. <laughs> and they'll be like, what? What do you mean? And then I'll just be like, can you just rewind that I'm Kyle? And they're like, oh my god, you're in the set. Yeah, it's just, funny. just so cool. It might have been about a week later, I don't know if I told you this or not, but I was in Boise visiting some family, Boise, Idaho, so a random place, and I had never seen the cards like in store yet or on the shelf, Yeah. but we happened to go to a Target and I was like, I want to see if they have Alan and Ginter here, so yeah. I went down the aisle with my two cousins, and sure enough, they had the box on the shelf, so I picked it up, I'm kind of looking at it, and I'm like, yeah, I'm just like talking under my breath, you know, like, I don't know if my card's guaranteed to be in here, because they wanted to buy it. And as we're chatting, there was some other gentleman in there who was looking at top sets, baseball sets. And he like gave us some information about the Allen and Ginter. And I was like, oh, okay, thanks for that. And then, so I continued to talk. And I think you heard me say something. And he's like, oh, you have a card in there? I was like, yeah, I got a card in here. He's like, oh, that's awesome. Like, who do you play for? And I was like, oh, no, I'm not. I'm, <laughs> I'm not an athlete, man. I'm not very athletic. But he was like, I didn't give him all the information. But he was definitely very intrigued and I think confused as yeah. to who the heck I was. <laughs> not that important, newsflash. But uh, it was just a funny encounter. And he was buying. He was like, oh, because I think the first thing he said was like, he's like, are you in, what's the cool name for a Topps card? He's like, Topps Platinum? Topps? Chrome? So we're, Chrome. Chrome. He's like, I was like, yeah, I have a card in here. He's like, oh, do you have a Topps Chrome? And I was like, no. <laughs> No, I don't have a Chrome, but I was like, I'm not a baseball player, uh, but I honestly flattered. He thought I was capable of that, yeah. so it was funny. That's insane. Just for us to be like, yeah, go to your local hobby shop or Walmart or Target, look mm -hmm. for our car. Like that sentence is just insane to even say to our audience. And just sort of reflecting on the whole situation, um, it kept reminding me of just what can happen when you work so hard at something and you're so passionate about something, just the alternative, I guess, opportunities that can come your way. I mean, we obviously got into MLW and we started doing this without the goal of getting into a top set. We were just playing wiffle ball because we liked it and sharing it with an on online audience. Um, so for this thing to happen, I mean, it just goes to show you, and I want you guys to know just um, uh, of what can come from just doing what you love. So mm -hmm. that was my number one takeaway from this whole experience, honestly. Yeah, that we do get that, you get those questions a lot, um, being in our position, just like, how do I become this on YouTube, or how do I get in a top set, how do I do this, how do I do that, but there's no real rubric for that sort of thing, right? Especially for younger, younger people out there, it's just, you work hard, you learn from your mistakes, and you just keep moving forward, you know, and good things will happen. Seriously, if you just, if you keep at it, and you learn from what you did wrong, and how you can get better, and keep trying to better yourself every single day, things will, things will fall into place for you. Truly a, a milestone type of situation for us, and I can't thank you guys, the fans, for putting us in this position, and then uh, Tops for reaching out in the first place. So guys, if you want to purchase a 2023 Tops Alan Ginter set, or even just a single pack of cards, the link to all that will be in the description below, and what you can be chasing from autos and relics and rip cards. And if you want to, to see our MLW trading cards uh, made by Pat Lee Cards, that will also be linked below. Um, our 2022 set sold out, and our 2023 set is very close to selling out, so 
hop on those before they are all gone. Shout out to all you collectors out there. Hopefully we can add to your collection. Um, but that's going to do it for the video. The 2024 MLW season is right around the corner. The draft is dropping on the channel on April 12th, so stay tuned for that. But thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Best card that I have, the one that I made of myself in 2009. Rec League Baseball, baby. Stats and everything. I even drew the Tops logo.